Hey y'all. So I'm about to go upstairs and tear this Sonic up. Like I'm really about to just these last couple of days of the month just eat whatever the fuck I want to eat <laughs> because like the only way I feel like I'm gonna be successful in reaching my goal is if I just eat tree bark and lettuce. You know what I mean? So like I'm gonna get all of this shit. I'm gonna eat it up and I'm gonna detox it on my system. And then I'm going to go hard. But that's not why I was doing this video. I was just uh, watching um, Kardashians. Everybody know I, I, I was the first Kardashian that they offered in the family. Like, I was watching the Kardashians before I even went to high school. So, when they all had that fucked up middle part that was so cool. Okay, so, but anyway, I just seen a video of Coco and Kimmy. And she was congratulating her sister on... Her pregnancy when she first got pregnant and I just felt so strongly in that moment for Chloe because I've always called myself Chloe. I know that Kardashians like our personalities are very much the same. So I just have a connection with her because we have the same condition and just to see her work so hard to become a mother and get healthy and stuff like that. That's always been my motivation, but I always said that there would be a time and now is the time. I got all the toxicity out of my life for the most part and I am able to harness and focus on myself. My skin is clearing. I am, you know, I'm healing, okay? But that's what I really wanted to talk about while on my healing journey. I know my shirt, my boobs, my boobs, y'all, look, look at my stomach. My boobs, y'all, are shrinking and they're getting more perky. And I'm getting excited because of the stuff that I'm using for my tits. Because it was at one point in time, I felt like I had no more elasticity left in my skin. And that's crazy, right? Because I'm black. But, yeah, I was I don't work out. I haven't worked out in, like, literally consistently, like, two years, probably more than that. And that shit got to stop, you know? Now, um, today I had a rider. Her name was Amber. Her birthday was May 30th. I mean, no, my birthday is May 30th. Her birthday was May 25th, which is the day before my mom passed. So right then and there, like we connected. Everybody that tells me that they're a Gemini when we meet, I always do like this crazy scream, which is like, ah! I always scream like that. When I meet one of my, you know, siblings. <laughs> so, my Zodiac siblings. So, we was talking about everything. She told me about her life and, you know, the passing of her father and her divorce that she went through. And she's been in therapy for 10 years. And she was just pulling them out, baby. She was just pulling out all my biggest fears and all my past traumas. Without me even, you know, because I was listening to a self-help video when she got in the car. So it was only a natural instinct for her to ask me what I was listening to during her ride. And I just told her, like, listen, this is, like, what I like to do when I drive or my downtime. When I get cool riders, I like to listen to videos like this. They help uplift me and they help encourage me and let me know that I'm heading down the right path. Because I'm trying to fix some things about myself or be aware of my habits that are not so good. You know, so we started talking and it's like every bit of advice that she gave me, like everything that she was saying to me in the car was like a message that somebody wanted to get through for me. Like one of my loved ones had to be like, and I was thinking that maybe it was my mother um, or I don't know, but it was saying that God wanted me to hear because it's like the stuff she was saying, like she knew me without even knowing me. And she basically said that one thing about Gemini, that like she was 40. You know, had a nice big ass house. I bought her too. She had a daughter. She's a lesbian. I'm like, if God tried to tell me that I'm a motherfucking lesbian, like that I'm gonna have a kid <laughs> and have a chick, like I'm in this stage right now where I'm just trying to figure out my life. Like I know that I'm still young and I'm still in my twenties, but it's just like I've I've had so many bad moments that I know the good moments are coming back again. And now that I've been through something, so many things bad, back to back to back, I just want to be prepared for these good moments. I want to look my best, be my best, feel my best, think my best, just be the best version that I could be 
for me and for somebody else. And I know it starts internally when, and with working on yourself. So as we continue to talk and everything, like she felt so connected to me. Like, I don't know why I have this effect on people, but it's like I connect so strongly with people I don't know. And it's like we know each other. Like they always say that, oh, you make me feel like I know you. Like you are just, you're going places, girl. Like you're, they always say stuff like that to me. And I'm telling you, like, I used to get so overwhelmed. Like I've been hearing that only my whole life. But like now it's more prominent than ever. Like I'll be going outside looking homeless, okay? Sometimes I get up and I do forget to brush my teeth. You know, I'm just, I'll be... I'll have a coffee. I'll go out to get a coffee and I'll be sipping on that coffee. Then I realize, like, did I brush my teeth? I remember flossing and using the mouthwash, but I don't, like, oh, no, that's besides the point. Y'all gonna judge me, y'all gonna judge me. But I'm so carefree in this space that I'm in. And I sometimes, like, every day I look in the mirror, like, even with me looking in this camera, like, I can't believe that my face is my face. Like, and I'm saying that because. I've had a lot of people call me pretty, beautiful, all this stuff in my lifetime. Never meant a shit to me, okay? Um, the way they treated me has always meant everything. I said more than it, any words could ever say. But this whole past couple of weeks, it's like everywhere I've been going, people just be complimenting me. like, And I'll be looking. like When they say stuff to me, like I don't know if they think I'm one of them girls that's like, you know, snotty. Like, I've never, I've, I've been perceived as that, but I've never been like that. So, with me being by myself and not really having nobody to talk to, like, I'm in isolation, I'm healing, yada, yada, yada. Like, I be getting in the car or I go to the bathroom when I got to pee because I know I be peeing like a motherfucker because all this motherfucking water and liquid and shit I be drinking. I be like, what the fuck do they see? Like, I've been looking at the same face all my life. You know, so I don't really notice any changes. Like, yeah, I'm not wearing makeup, which is my best friend. Like, I love to get glamour. I'm a glamour girl. That's never going to go away. I love to do my hair. I love my extensions. I love my units. I love my lashes. Like, I love these things. Like, I love them. I love the fact that my tits get back perky. I love getting my nails done when they don't get broken off unwillingly. Like, I just love things. Like, I love beauty. I love enhancing what's already there. But I think the beauty that these people are seeing is in my eyes. Like, I think when they look at me, they really see something. Like, I, not my face. You know, I don't know what the fuck these people see. But I'm, I'm listening to it. And I don't know if it's because in my past relationship, I went through so much shit that I kind of became like insecure and down and depressed so I'm not really into myself like I used to be like if you see what I have on today like this is a dressy shirt like this shirt you know the material that when you put it on it fits nice but as throughout the day it gets bigger so I felt like my titties was showing too much I don't have no bra on I'm so happy for that like my titties like they're not all the way up like a fake boob job but them shits is up there to the point where I could wear something like this and they don't look bad so I'm just it's the soap that I'm using. I'm going to put y'all on in another video of hygiene and all of that. But I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm just healing y'all. Like, I didn't even realize how distraught and hurt I was for my relationship. Like, I don't like to be complimented and I don't like for people to tell me that I look beautiful. And I'm not just saying that for attention. Like, it's really something in me deep down that I want. Or I feel like a person should know something personal about me to call me beautiful or whatever the hell they want to call me. You know, I don't care how many numbers people give me or how many times people ask me for that. I just don't feel a connection. And, and, I'm not going to say that something is wrong, but I'm working on something and I'm trying to get to the point where I could love me again. Like I used to, like y'all know how sporadic I used to be in the mirror and all of that. But this time when I get like that again, I will actually have accomplished many things. That's what I'm really focused and harnessing on right now. So it's just like, I don't know. I just wanted to get on here and share that I connected and I bonded with this woman and it's like I was looking at the future, like at my future self. You know, she was a white woman, 
Caucasian, very loving. And it's like we have the same story. But she was like, the only difference about you to me, girl, is that you are wiser. You are younger. You are going through it. This is your healing journey. And you, God is sending you people to send um to send you and give you messages so you must are going to do something great and i always question when people say things like that to me because it overwhelms me with all of the things that i've been through so i'm just sitting in this car before i go upstairs and get in a shower real quick because i need to wash my butt again and i'm just i'm grateful for today and the people that i come across that give me these big ass tips and just tell me that I'm smart and that I have a plan and it's all love and positivity and I'm just so grateful for that. But I'm sitting outside of my apartment complex and I don't know, I got to go up three flights of stairs. I'm not happy about that, but I, I chose the third floor when I moved here because I know I need to lose weight. And I'm not trying to become like a skinny mini. Like, I love my thickness. I just want to have the energy that I used to have when I was young. Like, when I think to back in the days, like, when I used to get around and travel, I did not have a car for a long time. I walked everywhere, like, motherfucking little foot on the land before time. So, it's just like, today, I was, when I went walking and I did my five laps around Fridays, a bitch was tired. And I'm like, uh-uh. I am not about to die quicker no, like, this is what it's about. It's about life. It's about living a long, healthy, prosperous life. It's not about image. Because honestly and truthfully, I'm going to get my body done. <laughs> so I ain't even worried about that. But I'm just saying, like, I got to be healthy with it. Like, I can't have a shit kind of face. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even look like Shekinah. If people tell me my boss, my old boss, I'm look like Shekinah. No, I don't look like her. Maybe I'll do a little bit. I'm look more like her grandmother than her, but I don't know. Peace out, y'all, because I'm just, I could talk y'all to fucking death, but I just want to vlog these moments because I'll be like, oh, I'm a pose, 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 and then I don't, <laughs> so whenever I get the inkling to do it, that's when I'm going to do it, like, I really cannot believe I don't have no makeup on. Like, I live by that shit, okay? Like, my grandmother is Andrea T. Marine. Andrea Chavot T. Marine. And when I tell you that lady was a glamour woman, that's what she was. That's what she is. I'm her granddaughter, okay? My mama, too. The only one that was natural skin was my grandma, Penelope. And I feel like I look like all the motherfuckers. Oh, I just hate looking at myself. But... That's probably why another reason why I don't record because I see so many faces when I look at my face. Like, you know, how people get how a person can have a face and they look like multiple people. I have different looks, you know, like some days I don't look the same. Like, I don't know, something be different. You feel like that? You ever feel like that? I be feeling like that. But anyway, I'm about to go eat this Sonic. What I could eat because I be getting full lately. Taking my little appetite of vinegar pills. And just enjoy my little break because I haven't, I've been out on the road all day and I got about four hours left to drive. So that means I've been driving for eight hours, pissing up a storm. I'm going to go chill in the house and wait until the surge is up. My car is clean for the most part. People keep telling me my car is clean, but I feel like it's dirty because of this shit that be dropping on the floor, little tree barks and shit. I just got to clean this car. So I'm going to go shower. Woosa. Still ain't do my laundry. But I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> or when I get back on this motherfucker.